Hey guys, this is JM. Uh, it's late here in California, but I wanted to get a video of this. I'm going to actually install Plotman on the NUC and give it a go. Uh, my friend uh, sent me some external drives of his and I'm going to try to fill up uh, some of his drives for him as he uh, starts farming. So I thought this would be a good tutorial. We're going to have a page up on the website here soon for a kind of overview of Plotman from the plot man himself eric and uh so he's graciously uh offered to you know give us a guest post so i'll uh, try to get that up here soon so i'm on here on the NUC. um so uh, it's been a while since i powered on the NUC, so i'm gonna have to remember what i'm doing here <laughs> so uh, i think this has the just one inland two terabyte drive here uh, i think it's already got a file system but just for the sake of showing you guys again, I will do a uh, XFS um, file system to this uh, inland two terabyte drive. So basically the only option I've been doing now is the M0 is equal to zero, uh, just because it doesn't use that extra space in the beginning. Uh, you know, I, it doesn't bug me too much, but I know people want to squeeze every last uh, temporary file on their NUC, um, on the on the spare drive. So. Uh, CRC zero and then slash dev slash nvme zero mate source one. I'm gonna have to give it a force because it had one on there before. And I'm gonna go sudo mount uh, slash well let's see, uh, type xfs options discard no a time and then uh, I think no directory a time these i mean i don't know how much these help but yeah then you don't you don't have to write the metadata on the file system um and we're going to do slash dev slash nvme zero and just one to um let's see what i have here on this one mount slash ssd okay so ssd is mounted uh he gave me a uh, oops he gave me a WD elements that happened to be formatted to Windows, which is NTFS, which is great because he's going to use this on Windows and I'm on Linux. So coincidentally, I don't have to do anything fancy. Um, you can actually format a drive in NTFS through Linux, but I don't need to do that because it's already formatted. So all I have to do is sudo mount slash dev slash sdb1 to mount each two. And uh, let's see. What did I do? I have a mount. Oh, so I better have to. I better make this directory. Okay, there we go. I know this is not the best security practice, but I'm at my home network, so you guys can uh, don't have to yell at me. Uh, okay, so I mounted this hard drive uh, as um, this is fuse block. This is what NTFS Windows drive show up in, in Ubuntu. And I got my SSD here. I'm going to go to, um, uh, let's see. So if you go to the Plotman website, um, let me pull it up here. You can scroll down here and you can see where it says, well, you can read the readme here, but uh, you can see it says installation, They've made it a whole lot easier than they used to. You basically just copy this. And when you pull up, uh, you go into your Chia folder and then you activate and then you run this command. Oops. Okay. Um, and then in the readme, it just says plotman config generate. If it says it up here too, uh, if you have a, so the cool thing about this is if you have a bunch of systems that are the same, you can use the same config.yaml file and you don't need to basically, you know, do anything again. Um, and so I'm just going to run plotman config generate. And I had, I had a file on here, obviously. So it just said, do you want to overwrite it? Uh, okay. So now it's going to, uh, write the file to home.jm slash dot config plotman plotman dot yaml. I'm going to edit it. Okay, so this is where we do the logs 
on my system. I happen to have the logs on home jm slash geologs. And then your temp drive, this is where you can just hit control K to delete a line in, in nano. Um, my temp drive I just had is uh, slash mouse slash SSD. And uh, we don't need these temp drive overrides. So we're gonna comment those out. And destination drives. So this is super handy in Plotman where you can have a bunch of different destination drives and it just kind of balances them. <coughs> you can also have a bunch of different temporary drives. Um, so Plotman's super, super handy. Um, so we just have one. So we're just gonna put HDD. Um, archive, this is if you're using a remote farmer and you have plotters that are gonna be copying stuff over the network, um, you would want to use this. Uh, it's super handy and it uses rsync and SSH keys to you know, copy files from your plotter to your farmer if that happens to be in another machine. Uh, the drive that I'm using that's gonna be filling this thing up is local, so I'm just gonna set it here. Um, so the way he has it by default is to get to phase two and then trigger the next uh, plot because you can multi-thread phase one and speed it up. Um, I like to do things kind of like the way I used to do in my script. You, so you can you can trigger off a, a stagger phase, a major, you know, phase one, two, three, four, or a minor phase. Um, you know, I, I actually just like to do it the old-fashioned way, which is like, uh, you know, I'm going to actually try to run seven on this uh, NUC because I've heard that did pretty good. So I'm going to run temp directory max jobs. Well, there's only one temp in this case, so I'm just going to run seven global max jobs seven because this is all I want to do on the system and stagger. I'm going to run an hour stagger and see how this uh, works. So pooling time is 20 seconds. And here we go. Um, so this is where we get to the interesting part. So the threads, um, this is the R value. Um, you know, just put four because we're gonna have quite a bit of stuff going on. Um, the memory, this is the dash B, you can get away with 3400 now. Um, dash E is off by default. And since this is my friend's system, I am going to hit control O and exit out of here. Uh, I'm going to, um, I, I gotta get his keys. So I have to cat his keys here and I'm gonna do copy the farmer public key and go back and put it in the farmer public key. And uh, remember in YAML, you have to have these indents in the right place or else it's not gonna work. I'm gonna save that, go back, and I'm gonna copy his pool key. This is his pool public key. And so I don't even have keys on the snuck. You don't need them. You can just use the farmer public key and pool key to plot for somebody else. Um, okay, so I'm going to save this. And I think we're ready to plot. Uh, let me see, I, we have chia logs. Uh, the folder is, probably has some, some files there from the old, uh, I'm just gonna remove those. So probably some interesting logs, but sorry guys. Uh, oops. Um, okay, so we don't get confused. And uh, so now we are going to open up a screen. And there's a lot of cool stuff with Plotman. You can do the interactive. I'm just gonna show you an easy way to start. So we're gonna do a screen uh, dash uh, S and then call uh, plot, Plotman. And I'm gonna activate, oh, CD, get blockchain, activate. And you can say Plotman plot. And this is going to start. Um, we're going to start the first thread. And we can make sure it started here with HTOP. Uh oh, something, something bad happened. Uh, let's see if the permissions, uh, ooh, SSD permissions got messed up because I formatted it. So sudo safe mod 777. Okay. Okay, now they have permissions and we can use them. So I'm gonna retouch the screen. Okay, so you can see it tried to start the first one, but it couldn't because permissions. If we go back to HTOP, we should see the Chia started. Yay, first thread started. So this is the coolest thing. You can go to Plotman status. 
and you can see all the the plots going on i'm going to probably stop the recording here and then check check in tomorrow uh and see how it's doing but um you know as you can see the the, the plot id here the um k value the temporary destination what phase it's in how much DRAM is taking uh, a memory, how much uh, storage capacity, temporary space is taking your IO wait time, system time. Yeah. So here we have it. We got a plot going. Um, this should do seven on the knock. This guy uh, tells me that he's able to do two TIB on my knock with seven uh, processes. So we're going to find out real soon. So <laughs> uh, cool. And so, so you, if you want to, find out the rest of the commands there's a uh, you know, nice help command, but you can do, uh, we're going to go in at the end after we have some plot files and do the analyze function to find out our times. You can you know, suspend and resume a job. Um, if you have to, you know, copy some files or something. Um, we, we use plot and you can, if you want to go to plot man interactive, that brings up the interactive, um, you know, you can send some commands and, and do all kinds of interesting stuff. Uh, and of course, you know, Plotman version will give you the version uh, 0 0.0.2. Uh, so man, they've done a lot of good work on Plotman. So I, I think uh, Eric has actually set up a little uh, uh, XCH um, uh, tip jar for the, for the other devs. Uh, I think Eric does pretty well at, uh, <laughs> at his job. So it's mostly for the other devs helping out. So if you guys like Botman, you should contribute. Um, but yeah, I've actually been using it here um, on a couple of systems and it's it's been great. So uh, thank you to Eric and the team that have guys have worked on Botman. It's turned, turned out good. So uh, with that, I'm going to come back here in a, a day or two and check back on my little nook and see how it's plotting for my friend here. So thanks, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? Okay, coming back. I am so excited. We are going to check on the NUC, and this little NUC hopefully is kicking ass with Plotman. We started the Plotman script, uh, kind of what, two days ago? Um, so I'm going to find out how much this thing is doing. So SHJM at NUC2. I'm going to put in my top secret password. And let's see. So we filled up 2.2 terabytes. Um, yeah, let's find out how, how good we're doing. Uh, this is like a pretty slow external drive too. So hopefully that's not bottlenecking the system. But if we go to Chia, let's activate so we can start the Plotman. So if we go Plotman status, it'll give us the um files you can see this one is in phase four so it looks like it's copying over and if i do um io stat um here let's go find out if how fast that's copying Ooh, 57 megabytes a second on this uh, external drive oh 100 so that's not terrible for so ideally, you know, we don't want, um, oh, did it just finish? It might, it literally might have just finished. Wow, that was amazing timing. So now the plot man's going to start another one to basically have six. So it just started another one at one, 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 two, three, four, five, six. I think we should have six total. Uh, was that one extra? Let's see what's going on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, Huh, I can't remember what I said. Maybe I said seven. Oh, I must have. So, okay. Oh man, moment of truth. Uh, I'm real scared. Um, so we're going to go here into the via logs folder that I made and we have some some files. Um, we're gonna have ls, um, let's see, oops, 2021, 05, oh, what was yesterday? Yesterday was a full day of plotting, it was plotting probably a full speed yesterday so we can find out really how fast this is going we're going to pipe that into wc.l and 18 18 k equals 32 in in uh one day so that's 1.8 tib a day holy moly okay and we're going to do um plot man analyze 2021 05 
dash of four star. And each of these are taking 35,000 seconds. And phase one is taking 13,000 seconds. And um, so I'm interested. I, I bet if we do six, we'll probably get something similar because I think the total times will go down um, with six on this drive. And then, you know, hopefully, I don't know how close you get to 18. K equals 32 in a day, but it's pretty good with uh, with seven. No, it works. You know, um, H top. We, you know, have pretty low DRAM utilization now. That's all the new enhancements in uh, 1.04 that came. So, wow. Okay, there we there we have it, guys. Flatman uh, on the NUC and uh, super exciting 1.8 TIB a day on the NUC using uh, seven processes with Flatman and. Um, I'm going to have Eric, we'll, we'll probably go through another video to do some more advanced stuff with the archive and the farming and, and some of the other, you know, nuances about plot mag. It's a little bit tricky to set up. And to be honest, I'm actually not the expert here. I, I, there's a lot of people in the plot man community that can help probably help me do that video. So, uh, cool. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.